Is it really getting casket? Oh. I give me a rich friend on day. Is she do? <laughs> Look at this. Whenever you visit Houston, never leave Houston on a Sunday. Beauty Forever Hair for sponsoring today's video. So this is how your unit comes packaged in a nice carrying bag and then you get a satin storage bag and all of your goodies come in here. So we have today's unit. Y'all can already tell it's a little color, a little color color. And then we always get free goodies. We have some press on nails, edge bands, and then your stocking caps. Also in the bag with your unit, you also can apply a glue list, which I will be doing today. And you get some tapes. These tapes go along the lace and you just press them in along your skin and they last up to seven days. I probably won't be using these today, but this is a good option for you if you don't wanna glue your wig down. Then also, this band you connect it to the inside of your wig so it just gives you a little bit extra security so your wig won't come off at all trust me this is really all you need so this is today's unit like i said we got some color and we got some waves y'all know i love a wavy unit because wavy units are so easy to install and so easy to maintain this is your curl pattern of the hair. This is what it looks like in its natural state. This is the Bye Bye Knots wig. This is how it looks on the inside. And you also have combs, you have adjustable bands, you have the gripper on the inside as well. Everything you need for this wig to stay on your head and be glueless. So I'm about to get it prepped, put her on. So guys, stay tuned to see how it looks. And y'all, these are all the products that I'm gonna be using today. Mousse, some cream, water, some got to be glue gel just for the edges, and then a little bit of lace spray. This is still considered a glueless install. And this is it. This is all the supplies I'll be doing today. And of course, the wig band. <laughs> almost making me not want to put any product in it look at that look at this this is Ooh. okay let me get into the cutting and we'll be back see me cutting this side it already looks better than this side very light layers very not much done to it but it just gives it a better shape if you wanted to wear it big and bold just like this but we're gonna go ahead and cut this other side <laughs> y'all both sides are cut i i like it like this like this is how i want to wear it big just like this 
but we're gonna go ahead and put some products in it just so you guys can see how the curl pattern shapes out and everything looks when you put your products in it. it dry so let's take the band off Ooh, it looks good oh yeah this color is doing it for me y'all this unit is so versatile I just love it super easy to do really easy to take care of curly hair so this is a really low maintenance wig. So guys, all of the details for this unit will be down below. The links to the website, the links straight to this unit, coupon codes, of course, and you guys can check this out. Let me get a little close up so you guys can see how beautiful the edges look. Look at that, laid, 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 laid. The dried curls look beautiful and I didn't do much to it. This is the length that it comes on me. This is 24 inches. This is how it looks in the back. And yeah, y'all, I'm super pleased with this. Beauty Forever always comes through with the beautiful hair. So you guys check them out. And once again, thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. Hey besties, good morning, was well, afternoon now. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend. So if you guys like what you see in today's video, I would love if you would subscribe. And if y'all didn't watch my last vlog, I did get a lip filler, which you can see. They are very like whoo, 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 right now. Uh, and I did get Botox, but I'm still able to do all that because Botox doesn't kick in for about three days about about three days yeah so anyways that's why your girl's lips are so plump and luscious and full right now they'll go down in like three days so anyways we're getting ready for the gym this is what i'm wearing a halara set halara top halara leggings y'all know i've worked with them a bunch of times in the past so these came from sponsorships i just have on a headband wig and this headband that I got from Amazon. I would have seen it in the last vlog. I got like a whole case of headbands. So yeah. And then I think I'm gonna take the kids to the mall. Ashton is with her dad. Ethan's here upstairs. He's coming with me to the gym. I'm gonna meet uh, their dad later to get Ashton. Then we're gonna go to the mall. We still have shopping to do for the cruise. Yeah. So that's that. Y'all today was a little weigh in day. Oh, today's Friday. Happy weekend. It's the weekend. Um, I haven't been doing like weekly vlogs and weekend vlogs for probably a couple weeks now just because my schedule is all off whack. I'm just vlogging every day. I'm just vlogging. That's why I've had to change my thumbnails. If you guys have noticed, I've changed them from weekend vlog and weekly vlog to just, they just say vlog on them because bitch, I might start a vlog on a Wednesday. Okay. So anyways, what else did I have to tell y'all? I'm trying to go through housekeeping items. What else? What else? That's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, you will see somebody special in this vlog. One of my social media friends has come in town. It is her first time visiting Houston. So I am so excited to link up with her. You guys will see who she is and when you do see who she is subscribe to her follow her on all her social medias but we'll get there later i don't know if i'm gonna meet up with her today she just texted me that she just uh landed but um i don't know if i'll meet up with her today but for sure the plan is saturday and sunday okay so yeah and then you'll see the other usual suspects you'll see jennifer tanya we, we probably gonna be outside we're gonna be outside a little bit um yeah i am definitely feeling a lot better today um last week was really hard on me you guys know i did lose someone in my family 
uh unfortunately i will not be able to go to their funeral in chicago which is very sad like i'm still like trying to process that i'm not being able able to go to her funeral um because me and the kids will be on a cruise the cruise was already paid for in advance there are no refunds I, so i'm gonna be on the cruise yeah anyways y'all know how it goes so yeah that is what we have on the agenda for today today was weigh-in day i had to so i weigh myself every friday y'all i weigh myself every friday i only lost 1.2 pounds 1.2 pounds so i know what i need to change last week i didn't go to the gym uh that much i was just getting back in town it was an emotional week um it was a crazy like hectic week so i only went to the gym three times last week so i know that messed me up and then not preparing food in advance not cooking at home that messed me up so i know i need to prep some meat and veggies and then i have my um carb-free noodles and I have my carb-free rice so I can just cook that with it on the go I need to yeah I need to be better prepared with my eating y'all know weight loss is 80% kitchen 20% gym the gym is just a little cherry on top you can lose weight without even going to the gym okay uh, I'm just trying to be one of those people who transforms their body not only by losing weight but by toning up because when i was with my personal trainer that's the best my body had ever looked i done my weight has fluctuated my entire life but i look back at pictures when i was only doing cardio i looked terrible yes i was small yes i was at my goal weight but i was so floppy flabby like no it was just my sh anyways it's, it's a difference when you add in weights and when you don't so Anyways, y'all, we are headed to the gym. I don't want to talk you guys' heads off. Let's get this vlog started. Okay, y'all, this is the full outfit. Got all my skim socks, my cream-colored Nikes. These leggings, they're a V-cut. I'll link these down below. I, I think Halara is sold on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. So if I can find this outfit, then I'll link it down below. It's not a set. Bless you! It's not a set, but I just put it together, so... Your girl's looking small. I'm looking snatched. Wow. Progress, progress, progress. It's so crazy making progress on this weight loss journey when you notice it, but then when other people start noticing it, that's when it's like really like crazy when other people start noticing. But anyways, let's go because I need to work my ass off today because my next weigh-in, I'm trying to lose three pounds. That's my goal, okay? finished at the gym had a really good workout but gym pet peeves gym pet peeves are people who get on the machines and sit and scroll on their phone there was some guy who I literally there was some guy who I literally I got on three machines while he was still sitting on his one machine I hate that like why do people go to the gym and sit and scroll on their phones I be getting my workout in because I be ready to go I got a good solid hour in me. We had turkey, y'all. These are cute. Not for me, but they cute. Maybe for me. And they look like they feel super comfortable with these. Y'all, these are so cute. How much are these? $30. They don't have my size, but they're cute. All right. I love those, but I don't need them. Let me walk away. I'm here for milk. I'm here for milk and a screen protector for Ethan. Why am I in the shoe section? Ooh. These are kind of funky. Mm. 
Mm. Y'all know these are super cute. I think I show y'all these every time I come in Target. They're so, so, so cute. Christian Dior inspired. See, I wish Ashton would wear these. Like, these are perfect for the cruise, but she want to wear her Yeezys. But these are, like, perfect to get dirty. They're only $14. Child, I done found something to try on. So now, because I found one thing to try on, I feel like I need to find other stuff to try on, too, because it's like... Y'all understand that girl mad, this girl mad. But anyway, y'all know in my last vlog, I was talking about these vests are coming back in style. How come some of y'all call them waistcoats? I've been seeing some of the girls call them waistcoat and I don't understand that. Maybe that's a vest. Maybe I need to ring one up on the uh, price scanner and see what it says. Cause waistcoat, to me a waistcoat is like a blazer. I would think of a waistcoat being a blazer that maybe doesn't have a lapel or a blazer that doesn't have buttons. That's what I, I, I wouldn't think a waistcoat would be something sleeveless and short. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see what it says. Tailored vest. Why are we calling these waistcoats? I think you can wear it open with a little bralette. To me, having it closed, tucked in, is like too much like PJs. My favorite, tie it up. The waist is just so big on these. And the crotch is, the waist is big and the crotch is long. I'm just trying to see what it would look like actually tailored because tailored it would have to, if I get it tailored to my waist, it would be up here. But we still have all this extra fabric here. Look at this wristlet. This is so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. It feels very cheap, like Shein, but that's cute. This cute too, y'all know I like anything denim. I seen a little denim bag over there. Let me just show y'all. Oh, she kinda cute. This little denim bag, look at that. A little wristlet, that's cute. I wonder if these work as good as the fan that I have for five dollars. Came for shoes and I'm getting up out of here. I literally look like a damn rotisserie chicken. It is that hot. My car is registering 103. Let's see what the actual temperature is outside. 93. Baby. A greased up rotisserie chicken. This is disrespectful. This heat is disrespectful. Lord Jesus. My lip is kind of like. I got a scab. Let me try to get some light in here. I got a scab right there. And another little poke stab. I think right here. Oh, one right here and one right there. When I tell you the bottom right here, it hurts so fucking bad. Ooh! That top lip didn't hurt. The Botox didn't hurt. Baby, that bottom lip, I just started laughing. You gotta laugh to keep from screaming. Let me let me not exaggerate. Let me not exaggerate because at no point did I want to scream at all. But the bottom lip is the most uncomfortable for me. It is now 6.30. My last return is Amazon. I just bought Ethan some Crocs. Let me show y'all these Crocs because Ethan is the one who needs some slides for the trip. Okay? He said he likes Crocs or Nike slides. Alright? This is what I sent him. 
these. These are in Ross. They real croc, croc name brand. $29.99. I said, are these cool? They're crocs. He says, no. I said, why? He said, they ugly. And I put shake in my head and he read it and didn't respond back. They're Crocs and they're all black. They have no design on them. They're just plain black Crocs. <sighs> anyway, the journey continues because my kids are picky as hell. Okay, yeah, we're at Forever 21. I just picked my baby up. Oh, these kind of cute. What are they, kitten, kitty meow meow? These kind of cute, huh? Yeah, I like those. They're called dirty denim jeans. Would they fit me? So size 26, probably not. You probably need a, but try it. I'll try it anyway. Yeah, get a couple more pair. A, a 26, that's the only one? You should probably need a 23, a smaller, but you never know. I found these, these are cute. But I just know I ain't gonna wear them, but they are so cute. With some um, khaki trainers. Child, that is very cute. The sunglasses. 23, 24, 25, anything under a 26. Yeah, Glamazon Tay did a really cute look with these hair clips right here. Up the back of her um hair twisted up. Baby, when I tell you so cute, she probably didn't get hers from here. She probably got hers from somewhere else because hers will have more colors. But they got black and clear and they got black and white. I kind of want to recreate it, but I just feel like I don't know if I'd actually wear it. Which is this one? See, $9. These supposed to be at the dollar store. Yeah, these supposed to be at the dollar store. So this is cute, but I think I'm going to uh, check Miss A. Oh, this bag is cute. That's pretty. That's pretty too. Oh, that is ugly. Why silver on that side? Never mind. Okay, well this is pretty. $30, child. I got so used to sheet in prices and Ross that so I just, I can't pay that now. Look at Ashton and her little girly era. She wants these for her braids. Why you made that face? Because you said era. It's not an era, it's going to, just, oh. It's full? Okay. Okay, yeah, she wants these for her braids. They cute. $4.99. I bet these at the beauty supply for about $2.99. Cotton candy. Oh god. Oh. $2.99. Oh. 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 Smell bitch. Can't even... I can't smell nothing. Does the bikini fit? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are you salsa dancing? No, I don't know. I don't know how to really do it. I think I'm hitting it though. I think I'm hitting Ashton at the moon. Look at this. We're doing pasta zero. Oh, oh. Pasta zero spaghetti. Spaghetti. Oh, we got spaghetti? Jack in the box. Who wants the jack in the box? Ethan, you ordered food? together like doing everything that Friday the 13th I was born in this world to be weird got it we literally like connected on that type of fantasy book groups now let me tell you if you are probably in polyamorous go to Facebook <gasps> groups to find Hi. that's what I'm looking for follow me on TikTok follow me Peter had brought coffee and cookies she was asking more questions I mean all this like crazy or cool. It's just him and her. Surely nothing bad is going to happen. However, by where she went after that. Now, the police were suspicious body in the ocean after what he said. She passed. Okay, y'all. This is my first time cooking zero spaghetti. So I did kind of like a stir fry. Let's give it a sample. I did ground turkey. I wish I had like beef. Yeah, beef I think would have tasted better. Well, I haven't tasted it yet, so let's see. Okay now. Shh. 
she did that. That's good. Wow. Who would have thought spaghetti with zero carbs? Zero. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, y'all. I'm about to smash this. Take a shower, get comfortable, probably do some editing. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to pick y'all up again tonight. It's possible, but I really doubt it. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It's Saturday. I'm getting ready to go to Ashton's game. I'm running a little bit late because I had to get some work done. Okay. This is today's outfit. Just a cream Forever 21 tank top. These sweatpants are from The Gap. They're just some wide leg track pants. Well, straight leg track pants. I wouldn't consider these wide leg. And then I have on my Yeezy sneakers. And then just some earrings. These earrings, I believe, are from, I want to say Forever 21. Yeah, I want to say Forever 21. Okay. What's the smell good? Smell, smell, smell good. This was my base scent. When I got out the shower, this is what I spray my body with. I told y'all about this. It's from TJ Maxx. It is a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro perfume for this scent right here. This right here, it's a dupe for this. It smells the exact same. Exact, exact, exact. You can get this one for $14.99 from TJ Maxx. Or you can just buy the Real Deal Holyfield. This is about, I think these are like $30, $25, $30, something like that. On Sephora. Anyways, that was my base scent. We gonna do... Um, let's do this one. The Amalfi. This one's kind of citrusy, but I think it will still pair nicely. Yeah, I think that pairs. That's gonna pair good. Okay, to change my purse or to not... I don't really have time, so I think I'm gonna keep the black purse that I'm just, my little black every, oh, I need some sunglasses though. Let's put on some cute little shades. Should we do these? We should, yes. I didn't tell y'all my Lueve shirt that I ruined, or well, that I thought I ruined. Y'all remember when I hosted Sunday Funday a couple of weeks ago, those black leggings turned the whole bottom of that shirt black literally from the chest down because they were some high-rise leggings child i was like so upset i'm like this is what i get for spending all this money on this shirt this don't make no sense the now the black leggings done dyed the shirt anyway so i had the shirt in my car for like a week to take to the cleaners i pulled up at the cleaners and something in me told me drop everything off except for that shirt drop everything off except for that shirt y'all i took it home i bleached it twice it looks brand new it looks brand new and thank you to the people in the comment section that were like usually that type of dye comes out a lot of people were saying that that comes out i don't remember if i had posted on here or i posted on instagram for sure but a lot of people were saying gina just try to wash it just try to wash it i listen to y'all i tell all the time i be listening to y'all Mm -hmm. and it came out so thank you for guiding your bestie in the right direction i'm really liking this uh this short hair i've been doing y'all know i did the curly bob last week now this i'm 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 liking this straight hair baby we got the beyonce win <laughs> today is a triple digit heat day it is hot okay this is cute I am stepping outside tonight, so I don't know if I'm going to wear this or I'm going to put my long, my long hot girl wig on. We're going to see. Five, uh, five, in the free throw. We made one in this one. Why are you looking like that? Why are you, Why are you crazy? And I look dumb right now. I feel, I look great. Like a tomato. Hey, y'all. We are back home. I have just been getting work done. I just finished editing a sponsorship this unit here you should see it in i always say this either the vlog before this or this vlog i'm not really sure y'all know with sponsorships it's always just depends on how fast the company approves and 
what they want, what they're asking for. Um, most hair company sponsorships are very easy, very straightforward. That's why you see so many of the girlies doing them because they're just, they're very easy and you get a cute wig. Like, and you get a cute unit. Yeah. So I am debating now, do I keep working? Do I do another sponsorship? Do I take a nap? Do I get out there in these 100 degree H-Town streets? On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it's four o'clock. I got dinner reservations for 10, 15. Um, I don't know. Y'all, this is day two of my lips. Cause I got them done Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yeah, we're just approaching 48 hours. This has been the easiest healing process. This has been the easiest like lip filler that I've had in a long, long, long time. Y'all know Dr. Oz, I talk about him all the time. He is the best, the best. I love the way my lips look. It ain't for everybody. I am totally aware that people gonna say, Gina, your natural lips, your natural lips, your natural lips. But if you hadn't watched me before 2018, you don't know what my natural lips look like because I have been getting my lips done since early, early 2018. Since, so what some of y'all probably thought were my natural lips were actually not. Okay. Okay, but, and just know someone can love they self. Someone can love they self and still enhance they self. I hate when people come on here and be like, you don't love yourself. You don't love how God created you. You hate yourself. You this, that's that. No, I'm enhancing what I was given. It ain't that I hate myself. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just like doing enhancements, okay? And if these lips turned out ugly and I didn't like them, guess what? I can go get them dissolved. And I can go right on back to being thin lip Gina. Yeah, so... But anyways, yeah, so like I said, it's not for everybody, but um, I will have my doctor's Instagram on the, either on the screen or down below in the description box, whatever. If you guys are in the Houston area and y'all want some really, really, really good service, he's so, he is so sweet. So, so, so sweet. Uh, what to do with myself? I don't know. And I got this cute little outfit on and I'm just at home working. I haven't went to the gym today. I really could put my gym clothes on and go sweat, but who wants to do that? Not me. Maybe the handle so my broom keeps coming off, so I ain't got no Gorilla Glue, but I got Neo Glue. We're gonna put a little couple of squirts in there, see if that should help. If that don't work, then we just gonna take it up. This broom is every bit of 15, 20 years old. <laughs> Literally 15, 20 years old. Oh. But y'all listen to this shit. Well, this golden baby is one of a kind, and his mother had a rare case of cryptic pregnancy, which means, like you said, a mother can be pregnant for nine months without even knowing that she was pregnant and when it's time to deliver. But she quickly found out when she popped out Tamar Kylan Corral Woodford right here at his birthplace. Go to the baby was six pounds. It was a full baby. This happy and healthy baby <laughs> told his mom to make room at the table at Golden Corral in North Little Rock. Hey, mom. See nothing like it. It's a baby. A complete shock to everyone, especially Tavia, who didn't know that she was pregnant. It's called cryptic pregnancy. And one in 2,500 pregnant women. And look how tiny she is. She is tiny. She came out on the stretch. <laughs> Baby, this, this lady had a baby in Golden Corral, 37 weeks pregnant, full term, full big, six pound healthy baby went inside her belly. The lady don't look like she nothing but about 120, 130 pounds. Small, small stomach. Can you imagine? They said that this happens one in every 2,000 pregnancies. That people have a cryptic pregnancy and don't know they're pregnant? Don't show no symptoms, no nothing? Now, they did used to have a TV show called, um, I think it was called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. It was something like that about people who claim they didn't know or they didn't know they were as far along as they were. Anyway, um, I just asked Father God right now, please, 
please don't let me ever experience nothing like can you imagine can you imagine going to a restaurant and then coming home with the baby you not prepared mentally physically maybe not financially and you got a whole human being you got to take care of now I done been put through some trials and tribulations, but God, please don't ever put this on me. Ever. Oh my God, can you imagine? Oh Jesus. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm still lollygagging around the house. Ain't done nothing, ain't went to the gym, ain't done another sponsorship, ain't done some more editing, ain't done shit. <laughs> I'm putting nail glue on, on brooms. Don't make no sense. So anyway, the kids going to the movies tonight. I think we are on day five of doing something fun with the kids every day day six day five i don't know but i don't have to be involved in this one today i just have to be involved financially they're going with their friends to the movies i'm gonna drop them off and they getting picked back up that's what's going on so yeah and then tomorrow sunday sunday i might think is gonna be the first day where we don't do anything because i have plans all day tomorrow so they're gonna be chilling in the house tomorrow Unless they want to go to their dad's house. They can go to their dad's house and swim at his house or something. But they'll probably say they want to stay home. Yeah. Woo! Like we're not even driving. Yeah, me and Ashton drove around for close to an hour. Looking for a car wash. Balenciaga. Why? Balenciaga. She stole them from me. Cut she that stole out. them from me. You, look, me. you sounded like a pterodactyl. Cut you know what a pterodactyl out. is? Of course. Yes, what sounded, that's what she sounded like. It's a but anyway, we drove around for an hour looking for a car wash. Why all car washes close at six in my area? Six on it's a Saturday. In our area, guys. We're in a car wash that's in our area. Like I said, a car wash in my area, everything closes at six. Only the drive through car washes. Can you sit back? <laughs> Only the drive through car washes close at seven, okay? So that's why we in a drive through car wash right now. I didn't want to drive hella far to go like to an area that does like, you know, hand washing on every, every, y'all know what I'm talking about, the type of areas. I didn't want to drive that far out. So here we are. I know a lot of people love to say, why are you getting your car in the drive-thru? I be trying, y'all. I even hit up yesterday. I hit up the detail man who came to my house. He said he was busy with a birthday party. He said, I'm going to send you one of my associates. I, I said, okay, let me know. That was yesterday. He ain't hit me up. Then I found this guy on Instagram. Then I found this guy on Instagram. I DM him, but he not available today. So, yeah. It sucks, but it is what it is. to my favorite McAllister's. I got the manager special, which is, well, it's called the Choose too. So I got the chicken salad, and then I got the grilled chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich is 250 calories. This one I think is 290 calories. I did not ask for this dressing. I don't, it looked like honey mustard. I don't know how many calories this is, so I'll probably use my sugar-free um, dressing in the refrigerator. And then I got sweet tea. It's half unsweet, half sweet. And so, you know, balance. So this is my lunch. Yum, 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 yum. I got the kids gumbo from Jason's Deli. Ashton, there's more crackers in here if you want it. They, they put crackers in mine. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna put some mine. How many crackers you left, Ethan? Oh, four. There's four packets. Four packets? Okay. They put this kind of crackers. And these? I want my pickle, ma'am. Let me take a... Oh, you got food. Bye. That sandwich look good. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. And I hope your food good, too. Enjoy your food. Okay, great.
Hey y'all, it's been a little while later. I got some editing done and I do not feel good. Oh Lord, y'all, I do not feel good. Um, I don't know if it was the food that I ate, the salad dressing, the tea. I don't know, but I don't feel good. Oh, I wanted to put some nails on. It just, it didn't happen. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait until our trip because why put nails on now? Then I have to like take my braids out, wash my hair. I don't know about y'all, but when I wear press on nails and I wash my hair, it loosens them up. It, yeah, I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna wait. I'll be bare, bare fisted for a minute. I know I don't give a damn. I posted a video on Instagram the other day. Somebody goes, Gina, where are your nails? I'm like, girl, you must be new here. Yeah, <laughs> you must be new here. Because I prefer a bare hand on a regular day than having nails on. So yeah, I, if I don't get around to it, it don't handle nothing. Oh, oh my goodness, my stomach. <laughs> This is the outfit that I picked out. Let me show y'all. This black tank top, these pants from PLT, this rope belt from Zara, and then maybe this bag for a pop of color. Maybe, maybe not. And then probably just like a little kitten heel pump to show from the bottom of these pants. I don't know. This is what I have picked out. Don't know how it's gonna look when it all comes together. I mean, it's, it's basic. It's probably gonna be cute. I really want to just lay down. <sighs> Maybe it was the coffee I made. I don't know what it was, child, but my stomach is tossing and turning and it's been fine all day. An hour after I ate, I was like, what's going on? She's kind of giving casket. They say don't do it to your hand. I, I don't know why I always do this. You're supposed to your chest. <sighs> yeah, she's kind of giving casket. I don't know what to do. Tanya was supposed to um come out with us tonight, but her daughter is a softball player and she sprained her finger. So now Tanya is having to sit in the in the emergency room. Hopefully it's not broken. Hopefully it is just a sprain. Well, if it was broken, she would have known immediately if it was broken, I think. If it's broken, you can't you can't uh bend it at the joint. I think I think Child, I done worked at imaging for all these years, and I'm talking about, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I done seen all type of broken bones. Shoot, I done had a broken toe one time. Didn't even know. Walking around on a broken toe. I'm thinking just because I banged it, I was in like a little minor car accident. And I'm thinking just because I banged it, I'm like, I probably just banged it really bad. Then I woke up the next morning, I had a huge bruise on it. Then I believe the day after that, underneath my foot, had a, a huge bruise and I'm like, how the hell I bruised underneath my foot? So I'm going to the uh, doctor and they were like, oh, your toe is broken. I'm like, what? My toe is broken, my middle toe at that. That's so crazy. He's like, yeah, your toe is broken. So I had to walk around. He was like, we can't do surgery on it. We can't put a cast on it. He said it just has to naturally heal on its own. Try not to bend it. He gave me a walking shoe. I've had the boots before, but this was just a shoe. And I had to wear that for, I wanna say like three or four weeks. Girl, that car accident was so funny and so crazy. Story time, real quick story time. I was dating this loser ass nigga when I was 22, I was 22 or 23 at the time. Was I 21? I was about 22 at the time, 22, 23. Anyway, 
Yeah, I was dating this loser ass dude. He was 25 with five kids, four baby mamas. Didn't have a car, didn't have a job. He was a fake uh, D-boy. He used to, um, he used to cut his work with some stuff. So he would uh, stretch longer. I'm like, you're poisoning your clients. You're poisoning your clients by cutting it down with this certain product, but okay. Anyway, uh, me and him had just got into it bad. Like we had just got into, I don't remember what it was about. Like I said, I've never been with a dude who cheated on me. So I don't remember what it, it wasn't about no other woman. I think I was just fed up with him, like not getting a real job and him promising me to get a job. I don't remember. I, I don't know. This was 20 years ago. Anyway, child, we arguing, arguing, arguing in the car. I'm driving. He in the passenger seat. And once we was done arguing, baby, I cut on Beyonce. I got me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I have. So I'm turning that up loud. I'm listening to that. Me, myself, and I. Yeah, I got me, myself, and I. Because, nigga, fuck you. Fuck you. I ain't about to fuck with you no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Child, I'm zoned out. This man runs a red light and boom, hits the side of my car. Like I said, it wasn't like a, a bad, bad, bad car accident because we were kind of, we were like in a, we were on a street, but it was kind of like neighborhood street. So there was a red light. It was really late at night. So it wasn't like he was going like 50, 60 miles an hour. Child, I'm going through the light. He boom, hit, hits me on the side and child, yeah. Mm-hmm. After that, I found out I had a broken toe one or two days later. <laughs> that is so funny. Is it really getting casket? I just need to. It is. It's giving like yellow pasty. I need to fix this. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. This is the outfit. Super cute, hella long pants. I'm gonna uh, go upstairs and get a pair of my heels to wear with these. And then I'm also gonna bring some sandals. This is the bag I'm wearing. So I do have some purple sandals that are this exact same color that I'm gonna bring just in case my feet start hurting. Even I'm gonna be wearing a little kitty meow meow heel. When your toes are like this for an extended period of time, that shit hurts too. So, belt from Zara. Y'all spoke, I listened, so I did get some belts. I did show you guys these already. I got a few colors in this belt. And like I said, PLT pants. These have been sold out for a really long time. I can go back and check because I've had something in my wish list for over a year that was said it was sold out in my size and they restocked literally a year. So I'll go back and check. And if they are, then I'll link these down below. Loewe tank top ain't worth the price. I'm just tell y'all right now, it ain't worth the price. Go on their website. If stuff is still on sale, buy one of the crop tops I showed you guys. That's worth it, okay? But paying full price? No, because the material... Child, anyway. And in my little purple bag, yeah. Okay, let's see what fragrance we gonna do. Mm -mm -mm. My first layer was this. I sprayed my body down with this before I got dressed. Ooh. Excuse me. Y'all, somebody said this was fake. Somebody said this was fake. Uh, Walmart sells fake. I got this on Walmart's website. Somebody said it was fake. They were like, girl, that's fake. Uh, Diptyque would never be that highly discounted. I said, girl, don't say that. Why you think you think Walmart would actually sell some fake stuff? Anyway. What do I want to wear? I think I'm gonna wear this. I think I'm gonna start doing a, what's that thing called? A perfume tray. Platinum D does a perfume tray every single week and I think it is a genius idea. Every single week she puts different perfumes on her perfume tray. I don't know if she has like a, um, uh a reason why or how she does it um what perfume she picks i want to do it because 
I don't wear all my perfumes. Like I have perfumes that I barely wear. Like this one, I barely pick it up and wear it, but it smells so good. It's just in the back. So I'd be forgetting about it. Twilly, I don't wear Twilly that much anymore. All of my Tom Fords barely get any love. Um, my Gucci Flora, this smells so good. So I think if I was to do a perfume tray, like how she does, that will get me wearing all of my perfume. So I'm actually thinking about doing that. So and somebody will be like, you copied Platinum D. Yes, I got in, I get inspiration from other influencers all the time and I give them credit. Yes. What she did is genius. It, it helps you put your perfumes on a rotation. So all of your perfumes that you spent your heart on coin on get love. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing that and buying a cute little tray that'll hold like about five perfumes from like Ross or TJ Maxx or probably Dee Dee's. I ain't been to Dee Dee's in a minute. Maybe Dee Dee's. Maybe I'll go to Dee Dee's next week or something. Yeah. Okay, let me find some arm candy, some rings, baby earring, necklace. Let me let me finish. <laughs> Your lady, I love, love the when you say to me, hey. Y'all, we made it to the first place. We're at Joey Uptown. I got my watermelon drink, and I have a guest with me, too. I told y'all I was meeting somebody. One of y'all babes. Make sure you subscribe to her, to subscribe to all her content, Instagram, YouTube, everything, okay? So I'm gonna try to show her a good night tonight, a good time tomorrow. We outside this weekend, okay? Oh, that's why it looks so good, because it's chicken. <laughs>
Yeah. Because it's so overly saturated. It's like you got to stand out. Right. Doing the damn thing with him. Hey y'all, uh, good morning. Y'all know I get on camera looking any old type of way. But happy Sunday. I said morning. I'm so bad with starting off my day saying good morning. I've been up since the morning, but it's definitely the afternoon. My bad. Y'all yeah, should know that by now. It's afternoon. Anyways, we are up. It's Sunday. We had such a good time last night. Miss Jamima is everything you thought she was in her video. She is like that in person. She is sweet. She is funny. She is cool. She is down to earth. She is a good time. She is a vibe. Everything you thought, she is really that. She is that girl in real life, okay? Super sweet. Super sweet. We're supposed to be hanging out again today, later on this afternoon for Sunday Fun Day. Um, right now, I'm about to get ready for a pool party. I am Jennifer's plus one to a pool party for one of her friends. I've met her before. She's really sweet and she's really cool. So that's what um, I got all this on my bed now. I have put together a country. Y'all know I just, I love my denim vibe. I love my country vibe. So I have a denim bathing suit, uh, cow, cowgirl hat, yeah. All that. So we're going to see how it comes together. Yeah, I have about an hour to get ready. So we're about to start this process. Your girl is hungry. But I'm just going to wait till I get to the party. I'm going to try to fast as long as I can. So I'm going to chill until I get to the party. I really want to make myself a cocktail while I'm getting ready. But I'm just going to wait. I'm going to chill. So, yeah. Um, What else? What else? That's it. So the plan is to go to the pool party come home shower and then get ready for the real sunday fun day festivities because i don't think i'm really gonna have any makeup on for the pool party i don't know if we really gonna be just outside outside by the pool and just sweating because to me that makes no sense to put on makeup you know how black folks are you really ain't a pool party is just us standing around looking cute we might just be in the kitchen the whole time kicking and drinking and eating we might not even we might dip a toe in the pool <laughs> you know how it go so i just i don't know i think i'm gonna do a light very 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 light makeup so anyways let me get my butt in the shower brush this funky mouth and let's get going okay y'all oh <laughs> okay y'all i'm back say hi to my girl drea drea antoinette okay so i done made a little change to the outfit i want y'all to know whether i'm making the right decision or not y'all let me know after the fact of course so the original outfit is this denim bathing suit with this skirt one of these sunglasses and this hat these seashells uh anklets you know, you see the seashells on the hat. So this this is this is the outfit. Okay. Now I thought about this, this scarf on my head with these glasses. So my blue Dior scarf, these denim Lord Vey glasses, and the denim bathing suit. And then I would wear some linen pants instead of this net skirt. That's kind of what I'm going for now. I love this denim bikini. I did this denim bikini has not gotten enough enough love. I wore it on my girls trip in uh, Tulum last summer, and I'm just been dying to wear it again because I I love it. It's from Target. If it's able to be linked, I will link it down below. But I did get it a year ago, so we'll see. Oh, I don't know what to do. Do I do denim cowgirl or do I do Dior chic? Okay, this is the denim bikini with the um, cowgirl hat and sunglasses. Thighs is out today. All right. So what do we think about this? Okay. Now I'm going to show y'all the scarf. Okay, now this is with the scarf. It's not tied. Mm, the scarf is giving me 2000s vibes. <sighs> the cowboy hat is cuter just because cowboy hats are like really really trendy right now even though we've been 
in Texas, we've been wearing our cowboy hats forever. Y'all look at some of my pictures from a year ago before uh, Beyonce came out with Cowboy Carter. Okay, anyway, I just think this looks more chic. I like this. Ugh, I don't know. You said what? Yeah, uh huh. Yes, girl, yeah. Y'all the best is here. Uh, and I'm and I'm holding us back running late. But uh, this is the outfit. Let me try to get in the light so y'all can see. This is the outfit. Y'all see I went with the cowgirl hat. These are the glasses. I found them for y'all. Did I tell you that? I found them. So they'll be linked down below. This is my new Dior lip gloss. Um, Dior chain. Dior earrings that you really can't see. The Target bathing suit. These pants, these linen pants are from Old Navy. Y'all with me when I found them. They were like $1.48 literally a dollar 48 and then my denim chanel bag that i never wear but i think it goes with the vibe and then i just have on my brown oran uh hermes slide so this is the look um we got big money over here gotta put a gay code in just to get in the neighborhood this is the type of neighborhood i want to live in y'all these houses Ooh, baby I can't be a rich friend on deck. Yes, she do. It's the rich and the fabulous over here. I, I can't just get know. through the goddamn gate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's uh -oh. raining harder. Yeah, it's raining now, y'all. I heard it at first. I know. Now I can get it to do nothing. It's a pounding code. Oh, let me find the name. So pretty. Look at what are these rooftops called? I don't know. This one, uh, you know, time on the rooftop is I, I love it. So much fun in love. What was that for? Yes, an hour? Yeah. Uh, only that for I got my to go birthday cupcake. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling lit. I'm feeling good. I've that had three nice. cocktails. Cocktails. Maybe I'll go home and take a little nap. What? While Jennifer goes to the baby shower, then she still gotta go home and get ready. And do. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna get the uh shower and lay down and relax. Maybe oh, I need shit, I need get some work done now. Right? This the exit. Yeah, we right here. Yeah, but that was nice. That Happy was birthday, good. Maze! Happy birthday, Maze! <laughs> my beauty! <laughs> yeah, I just got home from the pool party about... I've been home for maybe like an hour or so. It was so nice. So nice. Her home was so beautiful. All of her friends. Oh my God, y'all. It's, it's nothing like being invited somewhere. And the person's friends who you've never met are so sweet, so welcoming, so accepting, so like, acts like we've known each other for years. Like, that is how it's supposed to be with girls, with women. Like, I love her and her friends. So, so sweet. Oh my God. 
But we had such a good time. Food was amazing. The vibe was amazing. Happy birthday, Maze. I know she's probably not watching, but you know, I just have to give her a shout out because she's so sweet. So, so, so sweet. But, um, and y'all shop her Instagram boutique. If y'all, um, I'll have it across the screen. I can't think of the name. I think it's called InStyle. I'm almost positive it's called InStyle. So she has a brick and mortar and she has a, a online boutique and she sells really cute, fashionable stuff. So y'all check her out. Y'all support. Um, yeah. So Jennifer had to go to a baby shower, y'all. Um, I am sleepy. That heat, the water has drained me. If y'all hear noise, I'm listening to rainstorms. This is what I listen to to go to sleep. So depending on how sleepy I am, depends on which ones I put on. So this one's one hour. Usually at night, I'll put the one on for three hours, but they have them for like five hours, eight hours, 10 hours. They have ones that are live that are just nonstop. So I usually always pick the one that's like timed. So this is just one hour. So it'll already be turned off by the time I wake up. I've had them on like eight hours before to where I went to sleep and woke up and it was still going. So I try not to do that too much. But anyways, I'm going to take me a nice little nap. Then we're going to get up. We're going to get Sunday fun day started or continued or whatever you want to call it. But Jennifer has a lot to do. Baby, I said, friend, I'm sorry that you got to do so much. Like today, everybody has pulled you in every which way. I wouldn't even be mad if you said you can't um, do Sunday fun day with us. Child, she went, first of all, we didn't get home till 3 a.m. Then once you get home, you don't go straight to sleep. You got to take a shower. You got to take your makeup off. You got to, if you have clothes all over your bed, you got to clear your bed off so you can go to sleep. You got to do all this and that. So I know she had to like prepare to get ready for bed. Then she had a graduation this morning. She got ready for that. Then she had to go home, get ready for the pool party. That's the second outfit change. We went to the pool party. We was there a little bit over an hour. Then she dropped me off and she got ready for the baby shower in my bathroom at home. Then after the baby shower, she got to go take care of her mom for a little while. After that, she's going home to shower and change again and put on her fourth outfit. I said, girl, girl, why don't you just wear what you wore into the baby shower out to Sunday fun day? Like, you don't, why have a fourth outfit change? And she's like, because I don't want to wear that. I said, oh, Jesus, be, be some Red Bull and give you wings because you, you going to need it. So anyways, I'm about to get my nap in while she's at the baby shower and I'm going to probably put a uh, one hour alarm on so I can have a solid hour of sleep and then be able to get up, be refreshed for tonight, for this Houston nighttime heat. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's way later. I slept a lot longer than I expected. Auntie is tired. I was about to say was tired. Auntie is tired. Yeah, I'm I'm very tired. Sunday fun day is not Sunday fun day anymore. We done missed that. That done came and went, y'all. It is 9.40. <laughs> this is the time people be going home from Sunday fun day and we just trying to step out like this is crazy we might only be out for about an hour because I'm not trying to do a club I'm I'm only trying to do the chill stuff so I don't know how that's even about to pan out you know I was already at uh address last week for Nori's birthday I'm not trying to go to address again so this is the outfit I, I showed y'all this it's from Fashion Nova just some long wide leg flowy pants Bando top, I put my bob back on, gold jewelry, watch. Yeah, and I have on some black sandals and I'm wearing a tan bag. So this is the look. I'm real shiny. I just sprayed myself down with the Tom Ford and the Guess uh, body spray. I think I may have overdone it with it because it, it's leaving finger marks. When I do this, it's leaving a mark. <laughs> Okay. All right. This is the look. Let me cut my hot tools off. This is the face. We started doing a really light under eye. I used to do that a few years ago, 
But we doing a we we started back doing that again a really light under eye so yeah let me call jennifer she has not called me in over an hour this half a better answer her phone i told her i said do you need me to call you in 30 minutes she was like no girl i'm just gonna lay down and i'm just getting right back up she was like oh i ain't gonna fall asleep she said if i did fall asleep a marching band ain't gonna be able to wake me up she's like so i ain't gonna fall asleep Number two. Mm. Mm. This half of them fell asleep. This half of fell asleep. Let me call uh Tanya. I know Tanya coming because she asked me, am I wearing sandals, sneakers, or heels? I said, girl, you should know me by now. It's Sunday, Sunday flats. Flat, flat, flats. I don't do heels on Sunday, okay? Okay, so I just text her. Um, I know she's coming for sure. I just need to know where we're starting our night, where we're going, because... Child, this don't make no sense to be getting out this late on a Sunday. I wanted to show uh, Jamima a good time on a Sunday, and child, that done went out the window. Because all the popping places that started around like 2 o'clock are done. If you come uh, to Houston on a Sunday, you start at Chapman and Kirby. Well, you start at brunch, so you can do brunch at like Lost and Found or Bell Station domain you can go about like between 12 and 2 then the party the real partying starts at chapman and kirby you go to chapman and kirby about four o'clock you stay at chapman and kirby from about four to six or four to seven after that you head to 50 15 okay you get to 50 15 about six seven o'clock you stay at 50 15 until about nine ten after that, you can go across the street to Faces. Faces is like an older crowd. It's um, it's like an older, yeah, oh, it's like an older crowd. You go go over there, get you some drinks and some pork chop sandwich from over there. And then you go to the address. The address don't really get popping until 12.30. So if you go to address about 12, 12.30, you good. And then everywhere in Houston closes at 2 a.m. All of our clubs close at 2 a.m. Unless it's an after hour or a strip club. If it's an after hour or a strip club, those usually start getting popping around 2.33 a.m. And those stay up until about 5, 6 a.m. So, yeah. That's the order you do it. And if you want to go to the strip club, the strip club, the main strip club on the south side is called Area 29. Okay. Okay, whenever you visit Houston, never leave Houston on a Sunday. It's so much to do on a Sunday. So, so, so much. But because I've lived here, I done seen it all, done it all hundreds of times over. I don't even care to get out in this Houston heat at no two, three, four o'clock. At all. At all. Yeah, I guess who was awake? Jenny. She was awake. <laughs> she was getting ready so she didn't so she didn't answer on that first time I called her. But yeah, I'm headed to pick her up now. Tanya is already headed out. Jamima is at her room ordering some food, waiting on us. So, yeah, we getting a nice started. Oh, yeah, a whole deer, an entire deer, dead in the middle of the street. Oh, you know Houston is the country when there's dead deers, raccoons, armadillo, all in the street. <laughs> it's a normal occurrence. Tanya, 
Maya finally got her birthday gift, y'all, after two months. <laughs> Let yeah. me make it. Let me make it. It's all right. And I kept forgetting to bring them. Yeah. Let me see what else I got. It's a lot of stuff in there, friend. Oh my God. What else you got me? Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Y'all know I'm a little slow. She said, I'm a little, I'm a little slow. slow. Come on, friend. You got it. I think I do. Oh my God. Yeah. Got me some leggings. Yeah. She's gonna, she gonna tired of me taking my leggings. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know what that is. Oh, bitch, I got me a new wig. Oh, oh, bitch, I got me a new wig. And she know I like it long. Yes. Like my hair long. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hold on, let me see that. Hold on, let me see that. I know. Oh, my God. That is like a vacation so piece. That, she that said a vacation piece. Oh, friend. That is a vacation yes, piece. Yes, it really is. Thank uh -huh. you. You're welcome, girl. Look, 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 I can't talk. How many? Yeah, I love my. Y'all know I love my long hair. Yeah. Thank you so You're much. Welcome, girl. I got me a new wig. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of my new wig. I got to start hanging. When I go on my cruise. <laughs> Where's your cruise? My cruise is July with. Girl, my mom and my whole family about 35 of us going. Oh, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so fun. No, that's gonna be very fun. Gonna be Where y'all going? Oh, it's just Cozumel. Oh, that's what so the four day yeah. cruise out of Galveston. I can't do longer than four days. Okay, that's what. Yeah, I, like, I, I like said that. the same thing. I don't. I said the same thing. Told you. Yeah, I'm gonna be that Says it says recording. Look at the screen. You see that? That looks like the Batmobile. It says recording activated. Y'all, this is a uh, Tesla truck. The Tesla oh, truck. Says, it says recording. It says recording. Yeah. Oh, and the sticker is on the side. That's so weird. Cute. She says it's cute. You like it? Lego. No. No. <laughs> yeah, we had cats. Is about to get something to eat. Cause y'all know cats is never closes. I'm ready to fuck some street tacos up. Oh, I, I do have a camera. And you do. You know Tanya, Jamima, Jennifer. Y'all, uh, we just left from Swagger. They, they, all they was selling was lamb burgers. That's it, lamb. I said y'all don't have beef. Y'all ain't got chicken. Y'all got nothing. He said lamb only. I said I wait. I ain't been in this cactus in a long time. This is an old school cactus. Look at this. Street tacos. Oh, oh, I just want to look And then Jennifer, you want to light cilantro. I can bring some more. Okay. It should be no cousin. I said, I'm like, nah, this is I'm thirsty, but that water is good. Like, this water is good. That water is good. I can taste it. It is. from the tap. Where do you put it? So that's the piece I ate off of, and those pieces haven't been touched. everybody off Jamima at her hotel Jennifer and Tanya at their house and I am finally home I'm sleepy I'm tired I'm tired boss I'm about to fling this wig off so quick and wash this face and jump in bed and go to sleep to my rain sounds I 
cannot wait. I am excited to go to sleep. Like, y'all don't understand the excitement that I'm feeling. And I left some shit in my car that I'm just now realizing. I can't believe I just left some stuff in my car. Oh, my God. Okay, y'all. Goodbye and good night. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog. And, yeah, I'm gone. Bye.